How often do the terms Tadalafil and Sildenafil get interchanged or confused? What's the difference between these two common drugs used for treating erectile dysfunction ED? Today we delve into the heart of the matter, comparing and contrasting these two popular medications. Tadalafil, known as generic Cialis, and Sildenafil, or generic Viagra, are both phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors. They work by relaxing the muscles in the blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow to certain parts of the body. While both are used to treat erectile dysfunction, they have different characteristics that might make one more suitable for you than the other. Tadalafil stands out due to its long-lasting effect. It remains in the bloodstream for up to 36 hours, providing a larger window of opportunity for sexual activity. This means less planning and more spontaneity. On the other hand, sildenafil has a shorter duration, remaining active for about four to six hours. However, sildenafil has its own advantage. In a study, it was found that slightly more men achieved a satisfactory erection with sildenafil. This could be due to individual variations in how the body responds to these medications. Now let's talk about drug interactions. If you're taking nitrates like nitroglycerin, it's crucial to inform your doctor. Both Tadalafil and Sildenafil can cause a sudden drop in blood pressure when taken with nitrates, leading to potential heart attack or stroke. Both also interact with recreational poppers such as amyl nitrate, amyl nitrite, and butyl nitrate. Next, a common misconception is that these medications can reverse ED. Unfortunately, that's not the case. They help improve blood flow to the penis transiently, but the underlying vascular issues associated with ED typically worsen with age. These drugs can't reverse that. When they no longer offer satisfying erections, other treatments, including injections or penile prosthesis, may be considered. In summary, both Tadalafil and Sildenafil are effective treatments for ED, but they differ in their duration of effect and how they interact with other drugs. Neither can reverse ED, but they can help improve sexual activity. Ultimately, the choice between the two should be made in consultation with your healthcare provider, taking into account your specific needs and medical history. The bottom line is, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Each drug has its unique benefits and risks, and it's worth trying both to see which works best for you. Always remember, if you experience any side effects, stop and switch to the other medication, and seek prompt medical attention if the side effects are severe or long-lasting.